Hello, it's me again, and today we're going to walk through using the NVIDIA Transfer Learning Toolkit to generate a model from the ResNet 10 uh, a model and deploy it to the Jetson Nano. So the first thing we need to do is you need to log on to the NVIDIA NGC, generate your key, and uh, set up your Docker environment. And then once you got that uh, ready, you use this command. And this will pull the load the Docker command on your PC. Once you do that, um, what you do is you run this. And what this does is this mounts like I've created a, a folder on my PC called TLT Experiments, and in it I put a data folder. And don't worry about this; I'll explain this in a minute. Uh, I put a data folder. So what this does is this starts the uh, Docker container and it mounts uh, the TLT experiments folder on your PC to the TLT experiments folder in the Docker container. So once you run this, it'll return this. It returns that. And then what you do is if you go down here, like you highlight this, and that's what this part is. You load this, put that in there, and you push enter. And then what it does is it loads the Jupyter Notebook. So it'll load this. Uh, let's see. It'll load this, and this is what it looks like. This contains the examples, uh, the TLT experiments folder, which is attached to yours. And uh, so we're going to go to the examples. Uh, the DetectNet, oh, since I already got it running, it's up here. So the first thing we do is we got to mount the folders again to uh, to the Jupyter Notebook, to our Docker container. Um, go ahead and get the key that you generated and put it in here. And then run this, shift and enter. What it does, uh, mounts, it loads the key and mounts all your folders. And then uh, what I did is I've already I already downloaded the uh, Kitty data set and I set it in the data folder. And then what it does is uh, this command goes and checks to make sure you have the folders. And I do. They're right there. And then uh, this command, what it does is it makes a, a, a down, it unzips them into the download directory. And then what this does is this uh, unpacks them. So what happens is it, this unpacks them and it creates these two folders. And in the testing folder, you have uh, uh, images. And in the training folder, you have images and labels. And then uh, this right here, this is basically goes and gets one of the labels so you can look at it. And then this, uh, this picture has these labels. It has car, van, you know, and this is your standard kitty labels. So here is our, uh, this is, now we're going to, we need to produce TF records so we could use it. Um, if you go here. Um, this is the, 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 the file that they're going to use to create the TF records. You know, your image, image files, if we go here. You basically, these are the files we're going to use. So we have image2, label2. If you have your own files, you change them there. Um, if you're going to use JPEGs, not ping, uh, PNG files, you change this to JPEG. And then I basically left everything else alone. And if you wanted to go and edit this, you find it in uh, in the spec file right here. That, that's this one. So that folder we were looking at is this. And this is where you would edit. Like if you were doing JPEGs, you would change that to JPEGs. Or if you had a different uh, directory name, you would change it there. So uh, once we uh, do that, we create our TF records. 
and I usually just leave this alone except for the modifications I made up here and then what that does that generates this folder and then what happens is once that's generated with this you can just kind of take a look at it this is the, I guess what's the folders made of and now we're going to download a pre-trained model um, you uh, if you want to list the uh, the the models and we're going to use the ResNet 10 so here's the models you can use so we're going to use the TLT ResNet 10 detector V2 so what we need to do is uh, we're gonna we have to make uh, modify this for a 10 because we're gonna produce a file to store all this stuff in you see it created a folder for us and then we want to actually go get the ResNet 10 one so we go to this and go to here and then so what we're doing we're gonna go get it and load it into this folder so right now this is empty I'm going to load it in there. So it might take a few minutes while this loads. And then what I'm going to do is as we, uh, and once we st I start the training, I'm going to pause it because it's going to take a couple hours to train it. So, and then I'll, I'll, I'll restart the recording once we move on. And say, so we downloaded the, the model and uh, we've put it in here. So it's in there now. And then this uh, just takes a look at it. We've got to change this because we want to look in that folder. Basically what tells us it's in that folder. There's a license text and the ResNet 10 HDF. So if that's true. See, that's what's in the folder. So it just told us what's in the folder. Now this is where we need to uh, uh, provide the specifications for the training. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna take the, here's, we wanna use the ResNet 10. So we'll change this to ResNet 10. And it's gonna say there is no ResNet 10. See, it can't find it. So what we're going to have to do is, we have to go in and modify the one that's there. Go back to here. And we go to uh, the train right now, ResNet 10. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this. Duplicate. And what we're going to do is we're going to call this uh, 10. We're going to rename it. And then we got to get it in it and modify it for the ResNet 10 model. So this is what we got. Uh, we'll basically leave it. If, like I say, if we were doing JPEGs, you'd have to change this to JPEG. But we're not. We're using the standard uh, thing. And if you, uh, if you were using different classes, you would change them here. Leave all this the same. And then right here, we got to change this to 10. And then we have 10 layers, not 18. And then uh, I generally leave everything alone. Uh, sometimes I'll modify the uh, down here with the training configuration. We got 120 epochs, batch size. So you might want to mess with this a little bit if, if you, you, depending on the size of your uh, training sets. Then other than that, I leave everything else alone. But the big one is up here. Got to change number layers to 10. Change that to 10. Ooh, that's good. Change that. Don't want to mess up. 
when you change this in. Let me save it. So then if we go back here, take a look at it, see so you can't find it. Since we made one, it should be able to find one. Oh, ResNet 10 Kitty. So you see I didn't name it correctly, so we're going to rename this. Rename. Underscore Kitty. Dot text. See, and that finds it. Like I say, and this is the one we just modified. Like I say, if you were going to put JPEGs, that would get changed to JPEG. Uh, you, this is where we change everything to 10, 10, change the layers to 10. And then this is, once we got that, this is where we start running our uh, training. So we got to change this to 10. Uh, everything is the same. We will produce a 10 resonant 10 detector if you're going to run multiple GPUs you would like run this down here I just got one and so once we move that to 10 uh, we're, it's going to make a experiment directory unprune it will make that a file in here and load everything there it's got our key so what we'll do is we'll start training now this is going to take quite a while so once I get it started then uh, I'll pause it and then we'll we'll come back to it when when it's done. I generally to make sure that uh, I'll usually go away and do something else, but I generally make sure it gets past um, these sections first because I've had it uh, fault out because of something I've done. I generally make sure it gets past this part right here. If it gets past this, then it's starting to do its training. So what I'm going to do, this is going to go for a couple hours, so I'm going to pause the video recording, and then I'll come back to it uh, uh, when it's all done.